All right, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to shim a lock open so you can rekey it. I've got a this is a slag doorknob cylinder, and I don't have a key for it. So, first thing you got to do is you got to pop the retaining clip off the back, which I've already done. And uh, what I've got here is a shim, and the way this works is you just insert it into the back of the lock. You can either use a lock pick or a key blank. I'm going to use a key blank. And put the key blank in all the way. And then just by tapping the top of the shim, putting a little bit of pressure on it, and then slowly pulling the key blank out. What happened here is the uh, bottom pins will start to fall back down, but when I push on the shim, it pushes between the top and the bottom pin and won't let the top pin fall in and block the uh, shear line. And just keep tapping on it, a little bit of pressure. So I'm slowly pulling the blank out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you know, pull it out a little bit here and it, the shim slides further in. Eventually it'll get between all five uh, rows of pins. And I'm gonna miss when they miss when you just push it the blank back in as far as it'll go and just start start over here. You don't gotta do all five again. I think I'm in between three of them now, so there should be two more rows to go. Okay, there's four. Got one more to go here. I keep missing it. There's the fifth one right there. And now you can see the lock will turn and it's now unlocked. So now that it's unlocked, you can pull the shim out. And then you're able to Remove the plug and rekey it. So now you can either rekey it or you can take the individual pins out, and measure them, and actually make a key for it, or just set it to a completely different key, uh, whatever you want to do. But anyway, so that's uh, that's how you shim a lock open.